The path that leads to truth is littered with the bodies of the ignorant. Miyamoto Musashi. My friends, we don't have to be ignorant. We've got lots of great training here at the channel. And of course, we practice trade each and every day. What we follow on these charts, the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, 20-year U.S. government bonds, gold, and Bitcoin. Of course, when you find stocks and ETFs that are tradable, same lessons you learn here can be used on those. Let's jump into the charts today. Everything yesterday was down, swinging back the other way today as we head toward the end of the year. We're going to jump into the S&P 500 first, up 1.80%. Where does that take us? Well, we were red on the STC. It's now green. Hopefully it will reset for us and allow us to jump back into a potential down move. If that's where the market is going to be going, we need this green line on the STC to move through this center band here as depicted by these two gray lines in the gray area in between. It resets when it goes above or at least touches that line and then gives us an opportunity to jump back into a move. Since we're below the 200 EMA, we're looking for a down move. Where are we on the two-day chart? It is red also, red on the STC below the 200 EMA. We have a red spinning top right now showing some indecision. We'll see how things move forward. The weekly still above the 200 EMA, heading down third red down candle that we have. We note, though, that we are not reaching a lower low and we're still green on the STC there. Maybe if there is a roll back over going down, it'll pull that over in the same direction, giving us a negative 15 for our purposes of following a down move. Now let's look at where we are on the NASDAQ 100. It was our biggest move up for the day, 2.44%. You see it was up in the morning, not quite as high up in the afternoon as the peak in the morning, very close to it. Uh, we are still, of course, red on the STC, well below the 200 exponential moving average. Today, of course, we're well below the 200 exponential moving average. We are red on the STC, reaching a lower low there. So again, comparing this to the S&P 500, we can see that we're below the 200 EMA and a lower low. Uh, the the prior low that we had back on October, haven't reached that from the week of October 10, but heading down, still green on the STC. Maybe that'll be turning soon and it'll give us more impetus for a potential down move. We've seen this happen before, just back on the afternoon of the, or rather the morning of the 21st and the afternoon of the 21st, things popped up and then rolled back over. Don't know if that is going to happen. We'll wait. We'll watch. We'll see. What's up with 20-year U.S. government bonds? We see that they are up 1.14%, still quite negative on the STC. No move up here, so we're not resetting. We didn't have a good reset this last time. Want things to bound down and then reset by going above this center band so that when things do roll over again, we have a nice, clean move down. Doesn't mean it's not going to go down, but again, when we follow those rules for resets, and don't forget, my friends, we're only covering five ETFs for you here. For the favorite ETFs and stocks that you have, you want those to set up perfectly for you so you have the best chance of winning. Now, we have set ourselves with just these five, two indexes, 20-year bonds, gold, and Bitcoin. So we've got a commodity in there, a bond fund, and a cryptocurrency. But again, we've limited ourselves to those. You don't have to do that. And again, you don't trade when the rules aren't setting up properly because you want everything possible going in your favor. So we see where we're still negative on the half-day chart on the two-day it, of course, it's well below on both the weekly and the two-day chart. I have to really tighten this up. Well below the 200 EMA on all of those. And, of course, we see on this latest two-day candle going red. There's been enough power moving down after all this up movement 
to peel over and roll over the STC to where it is heading down now. And the weekly, of course, a big down week. Haven't reversed the STC yet, but who knows, that might be coming in the near future if things revert back to down moves. So we will keep a close eye on the half day chart and see if it will reset for us and give us another opportunity potentially for a down move. Let's go to gold. Gold still in the red on the STC up for the day 0.56%. Gold just doesn't want to take off here. It just keeps bumping up and just not. And it's really, what's it doing? It's wearing us out. But maybe, my friends, maybe hope springs eternal. This is it. We're resetting here as far as the STC goes. Uh, well, on these last greens, they didn't move all the way up. But since they didn't move all the way up, they didn't even hit this center band. We'll just watch, wait, and see as things move forward if we have any possibility of a good jumping in point. You can see all the indecision in this two-day chart with these green spinning tops. Look at them. They're just crazy. I mean, that's a lot of indecision over many, many days there. We don't like that. We want strong moves up or down. Make it simple for us and work. Where are we on the weekly? It too is above the two-day. Now, these up candles are um, above the 200 EMA, rather. These up candles are nicer, at least over the last few weeks. You can see where you've got green candles, We'd like them, what we like, of course, the most is either going up or down. We like to see acceleration. We like to see nothing on a green candle on the bottom side. And we like to see the candlesticks themselves getting bigger. And we like to see continued movement where the prior candle is lower on up moves than the current candle. So we'll continue to watch, wait and see there. But... Again, I'm hoping gold is going to go on a tear and going to give us an opportunity to buy in at a good point where we can have a successful trade. What about Bitcoin? Bitcoin up just a little bit for the day, 0.25%, so a quarter of a percent. <clears throat> Bitcoin, again, has a lot of recovering to do. Just really been going sideways the last few days on that half-day chart. Two-day chart. Of course, over the last few days, we see where it's been pounding down. And again, somewhere in that 1650 mark or so. <clears throat> and we look at where we are on the weekly. Tighten that up so you can really see where we are on the weekly. We have had so much down movement over the course of this year as Bitcoin has just crushed. We were hoping somewhere around that 1820 mark or so was going to be the new bottom. And then, of course, starting on there in early November we to mid-November, late November, we saw things really bump down on us for three weeks in a row. And since then, just sort of hanging out. So we're going to need Bitcoin to see market capitulation. Nobody will want to buy it. About that time, it'll start recovering. And then we might see some real up moves. Patreon members, I emailed you and also loaded up at the Patreon page for you our charting cryptos and commodities. Hope you enjoy that. Again, appreciate all of our Patreon support. If you appreciate what we do, show us some love. Please become a Patreon supporter, of course. What do we have to offer to you? All sorts of great trainings and all sorts of weekly stuff that we do. And of course, the once a month live question and answer call in session, it will be next Wednesday. So Patreon members, go ahead and start getting your questions in and your favorite ETFs or stocks you want us to help you backtrack for practice trading. Just another little thing we do. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.